man's mind influences his body profoundly. If allowed to function viciously and entertain unwholesome thoughts, mind can cause disaster. It can even kill a being, but it can also cure a sick body. When the mind is concentrated on right thoughts, with right effort and understanding, the effect it can produce is immense. A mind with pure and wholesome thoughts really does lead to healthy, relaxed living. Buddha says, no enemy can harm one so much as one's own thoughts of craving, thoughts of hate, thoughts of jealousy, and so on. A man who does not know how to adjust his mind according to circumstances would be like a corpse in a coffin. Turn your mind to yourself and try to find pleasure within yourself and you will always find therein an infinite source of pleasure ready for your enjoyment. It is only when the mind is controlled and is kept on the right road of orderly progress that it becomes useful for its possessor and for society. A disorderly mind is a liability both to its owner and to others. All the havoc wrought in this world is created by men who have not learned the way of mind control, balance and poise. By the way, calmness is not weakness. A calm attitude at all times shows a cultured man. It is not too hard for man to be calm when things are favorable, but to be composed when things are wrong is hard indeed, and it is this difficult quality that is worth achieving. One can build strength of character by being calm. It is quite wrong to imagine that they alone are strong and powerful who are noisy, garrulous, and fussily busy. We must use our strengths in a proper manner. We must know how to use our youth, wealth, power, energy, and knowledge at the proper time, at the proper place, and in the proper way for our own benefit and for the benefit and welfare of others as well. If we misuse our privileges, it will only cause our own downfall. Man must be strong enough to know when he is weak, brave enough to encounter fear, proud and unbending in honest defeat, humble and gentle in victory. Mm -hmm.